Good morning, folks. You're watching Mercury exit conjunction. Small CME releases east in the system, and there comes Jupiter. We'll conjoin towards the end of the month. Today we are finally eyeing the end of geomagnetic storms, but unable to put our guard down yet. We've got news and highlights from around the world as well, but let's get started over at spaceweathernews.com. Find a deceptively calm star. We'll come back to the large coronal holes, but for now, even without sunspots, there are so many thin plasma filaments turning in that eruption watches in play and we're checking almost every hour. Let's come to the solar wind here where you can see the intense stream is finally letting up. And we did indeed have the first day in a week without geomagnetic storms. It may be a short-lived reprieve, however, as more streams are coming from these coronal holes. Lithospheric activity is rising and should peak tonight or tomorrow in the sequence. We're at the bottom of spaceweathernews.com here, looking at long-term solar progression. Folks, here's the visualization of the difference between sunspots and actual solar activity. That last part of each chart you see coming back up at the end. That is all last month's solar flares were able to do. If you recall how I said that 12 years ago we got two X10 solar flares as we entered solar minimum, but it barely budged the long-term charts, this is what I meant. Long-term trends win out, but any given week a sunspot can sneak through and become a leviathan. Best of hearts and minds to Ireland where the cleanup begins as three are mourned from the storm's onslaught over the last day. Lucky to land properly there, and again, best of all to everyone there in the aftermath. NASA releases some of Cassini's final shots as it fell into Saturn. This one is of the northern Saturnian aurora, likely driven by solar energetic particles blasted out in last month's solar eruptions. Photo taken September 14th. Get this. Mars Recon with false color as H2O ice crystals tinted blue. They say these earthly clouds are indeed floating in the Martian atmosphere. This is pretty interesting, and now I know some, many of you maybe, have alternative black hole science ideas, but it's not like there aren't massive things out there in those areas, it's just a matter of agreeing about what those things are. Well, this paper indicates that some of the primordial black holes are indeed the missing mass and the dark matter isn't needed. This is a bit like slapping the mainstream with their own glove. Fire danger in some parts of the western U.S. today is no joke. Take extreme precautions with any potentially fire-related activity. And lastly, folks, we've put together some playlists for your easy learning. Just click my name anywhere in YouTube to pull up our channel page. Scroll down to the bottom, see the playlists. We've got wind maps, null school run, and shots of our star to close. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here. But right now, it's 5.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.